So I know that it's going to be so hard to kind of consolidate into this short time that we've got to chat, but can you give us kind of a brief overview, John, of what would Sky's training have looked like from kind of getting her as a pup to then her being ready and waiting for that first call out to go out on the hill? Okay, so the, the, the training structure of the dogs um, probably normally takes about two to three years. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's normally gauged on how that dog team progress. Um, if there's a really good bond, as we mentioned earlier, yep. it can really accelerate the process. Okay. Um, but initially, we would have what we call pre-stage one. Mm -hmm. So these are potentially new handlers coming in with um, a pup in, into the association. Uh, and what we do there is, like most people would do, basic dog obedience, um, good control, learning how to work in and around stock because that's a key thing to Martin Rescue Dogs, is yep. there are other animals on the fell sides as, yep. not, as well as the dogs. Um, and then get them used to what we call the searching game. So we have to get the dog used to barking and that it has to want to find someone because it knows that following a human scent is a, a good reward. Mm -hmm. um, then we get th put through, and we're just possibly about to go through it now with Jura, yep. um, what they call an introductory assessment. Mm -hmm. That's the entry criteria, that's the entry exam into the search dog training, full structure. Hope you've done your revision, Jura. <laughs> yeah. Um, then we have what we call stage one. Mm -hmm. These are the younger end of the dogs, and we're learning the game, the, the game of searching, because it is a game of hide and seek. Mm -hmm. um, so the dogs learn that to follow a human scent on the breeze, on the wind, um, to go into that person. They should be able to bark, and then it's what we call shuttling, so they come back to the handler okay. and give a positive, positive indication back at the handler again. I found something, I found something. Yeah, yep. it's exactly that. It's, it is like, um, like I say, it is a game of hide and seek to these dogs. Once they're confident in that stage one, they move on to what we call stage two, which actually then tests the handler a bit more, because what we do okay. is we open up the size of area that these dogs are searching. Mm -hmm. um, so you start off with something about the size of a football pitch. Ultimately, by the time you finish stage two, you're searching half the side of a mountain. Wow. Uh, so that's crags, uh, gills. You have to learn about um, how, th how the wind and the air currents change over different terrains. And that's going to affect how they And that can, affects how your dog yeah. works. Now, we also do that in all the terrains that we might search in. So we're, we'll be woodlands, d thick forest station, mm -hmm. um, crag systems, all kinds of stuff. So. And in all weather conditions as well. So the, the dog handler uh, or that dog team are really getting more and more experience while learning. Stage three is almost the, the bit we all fear. That's the assessment stages. Uh -oh. this, can this can take a number of months because you have to reach um, 16 different areas that you have to pass. Wow. Um, and upon um, passing that, Sky, you then get, and it is down here, that nice little green... Oh, yeah, we can see it. Green tag. Um, that, that's the tag of a graded search dog. Wow. So, so that's what it's all working towards, that's that tiny what it, little that, green that's disc. What <laughs> that, that little piece of plastic, probably worth about 79 pence, means the yep. world to me. <laughs> um, it, we, we always joke about blood, sweat and tears, and yep. that's what it means. Um, <laughs> but the training just doesn't stop there. Yeah, of course. Because, like we've mentioned earlier, we do the avalanche training, mm -hmm. and we do helicopter training. So, obviously, the search dogs can be airlifted into areas where they're really required quite swiftly. Mm -hmm. uh, that can be currently with the Coast Guard, it used to be with the RAF, um, and even with the air ambulances now. Wow. Um, so we have to experience different types of deployment by aircraft. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also specialise in um, more s specific types of searching. Mm -hmm. So um, this can be for missing vulnerable people, um, things like that, that we might be tasked by the police. Um, so, yeah, we, we kind of go for what we call inaccessible bodies. So these could be bodies hidden in, um, way up in trees, in crags, all kinds of really extreme places that you might not think of. Yeah. Uh, and this can also lend itself into sometimes um, urban searching, so buildings and things like that. Um, wow, so, so it, really, it really is endless. It potentially is endless. We, we do joke, even though it says mountain rescue on the badge, mm. don't be expected, uh, don't be surprised um, when you can find the skills of the mountain rescue team and the search dogs in urban or even beach locations and coastal. <laughs> There's just uh, no end to there their is, abilities. There is no end. It's, it's a, it's, 
the search dogs are a really useful tool to the, the mountain rescue. Mm, and they're gorgeous as well. <laughs> um, so at what point then along that role, obviously Sky's kind of been through all that incredible training and now kind of come out the other side and hopefully is allowed to kind of wind down now and enjoy her retirement um, a little bit more. Um, at what point is Jura at in that kind of process? Well, Jura is ready to go for the introductory assessment. Oh, that's what I'm being told. Okay. Um, I'm probably slightly nervous about going through the process again. Yeah. Um, but uh, the dog training instructor with us, um, who deals with the, the young pups, mm -hmm. uh, a lass called Jen Cartmel, she's, she's got every confidence in me and says that Jura is kind of ready. So she's putting us forward, ready for my introductory test to start as, as a new dog team. And it's, it's learning that dog team experience again for all these years I've been with Sky, mm -hmm. um, Jura, like, like many of us, we've all got different characters. Yep. Jura's got a totally different character to what Sky has. Oh, really? So um, I have to learn and develop that bond with Jura. And it must training. be hard to unlearn the kind of the cues and things that you used to take from Sky or those bits in her behaviour that you used to be able to pick up on. Is it harder to unlearn those maybe than it is for Jura to <laughs> learn them for the first time? It, it is. It, it's very hard. It's human nature um, to go with what you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that comfort factor. Um, owning a dog sometimes takes you out of that comfort factor. And a good friend of mine once told me, um, you can't take the head off one dog and place it on another. <laughs> um, it's a whole new learning experience again. Um, and I'm sure Jura will put me through the mill on that learning experience. So